Well, thank you and welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this edition of the 700 Club. Daily, nearly moment by moment, young people are bombarded by distorted visual images and twisted music messages that are saturating their minds and, yes, sabotaging their futures. Just ahead, a special presentation for you, Satan's Targets. Well, the question we all have to ask is what's happening to our soul? What's happening to your soul? What is going to be done in your life? And are there influences trying to steal your soul? Well, perhaps no example of what can come along to warp the minds of youth stands out stronger than that of what's known as the violent punk rocker movement that originated in England. Some of you watching this program say, listen, now, this stuff, they just games. Dungeons and Dragons, they're just games. These um, rock uh, musicians, it's just a song. It's games. The uh, cartoons, they, they just uh, sort of make-believe. Uh, are they really things like demons? Well, the answer is you better believe it. Well, now we got some questions. Yeah, and this is a good one because I think a lot of Christians wonder about oh, this. Scott writes in, what is your outlook on certain types of music such as hard rock, classic rock, rap, etc.? I've been a Christian for the majority of my life and I listen to a lot of 70s and 80s rock music. There was a lot of good rock back in those days. Is that wrong of me as a Christian? Well, you know, uh, there are a lot of those songs that are pretty good, you know, um, Bridge Over Troubled Waters and things like that. Uh, I think some of this... Uh, uh, gangster rap. I think some of the uh, uh, heavy metal stuff is really satanic. Mm -hmm. it, it sounds like demonic, yes. but there's a lot of the music that came out of the 60s and 70s that's really good, and I enjoy listening to it, too. So. One of my first concerts was Boston in 1979. Really? Oh, my gosh, I'm dating myself. I was, yeah. I was very young. Yo, but just, <laughs> just a shot. I understand. <laughs> But I mean, really, uh, there's nothing sinful about that, I don't think. I mean, there's some good good lyrics and good music, and there's some, I mean, the kids are having fun, but some of the stuff that's come out later, I mean, it's it's like a killer, and I'm going to take the hoe, and I'm going to, you know, do this, that, and the other. Yeah. I mean, it's full of rape and murder and violence. That's evil. All that's right. right. All right. This is Shannon who says, hi, I'm 14, and I grew up listening to rock music. Recently, I've been obsessed with the rock band. Some of their songs have some strange lyrics. Now, my dad is telling me that I should second guess listening to their music. I love Christian music, too, but I find myself not letting go of my rock music because that's what I was born listening to. So can I listen to both rock and Christian music? Please help. Um. It depends on what rock you're listening to. I mean, some yeah. of the stuff is just evil. They, they used to talk about kill your parents, and uh, they were just some evil things, and they were uh, odes to Satan. And so you don't want that stuff coming into your mind. Uh, there's some beat that's out there that, you know, probably isn't all that bad. Although, uh, in one Indian context, they were playing rock music, and, and the person said, Why are you calling on the demons? Because that was the kind of music they used to, to you know, summon demons. Mm -hmm. So anyhow, uh, again, the evil in the world is so pervasive that we just need to stay in prayer. We need to stay in the Word of God, and we need to have fellowship with one another. But the truth is, if we don't have any relation with that, we'll have to go out of the world. And you know, it's just you know, Paul said. I've got to eat with people who are idolaters, and if I don't, then I'll have to leave the world. So, uh, you know, that's the way we live. So the Lord understands that. All right.